All right, guys, back with another video. We'll be talking about SOS Limited, SOS Stock. I'll be giving you guys a new passive buying level and my exit level. All new levels for SOS. This can be huge. If this level confirms on buying pressure, we'll also go over the old levels and how I'm looking to play it. Remember, I said that secondary run is the most important part. This first run is really useless because most people weren't in there before that first run. So once we get this pullback right here, and that buying pressure confirms to send it higher, that is when we will make the profit. Okay, so let's get into it. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you watch the video before this one. Key, key levels on those stocks. I'm, I'm even gonna update you on some of those stocks. So make sure you check that one out so you can let me know which ones you guys want me to update you on. And then I'll make that video for you guys later. So this video, SOS, ticker symbol, SOS. I'll go ahead and write out that ticker symbol for you guys right here. Let's put that, there you go, ticker symbol SOS. I know some of you guys are on your phone. Now, let's get straight into it. We did have some old levels. I'll take this off. If we go down to the five day, five minute chart, we had an old resistance level here, but we also had a resistance level above price. Now that didn't quite hit um, today above price. What did hit is this one, right at that 60 cents mark. Look at the pre-market. Broke resistance, acted as support. Resistance broke, came back up to it, hit it, that was one sign, okay? That was one sign. I was waiting for it to come back up here during normal hours, but it never did. So what I was looking at, since it was showing no pressure to go higher at this resistance level to see if it's gonna break, to see if it's gonna show resistance, it just pulled down. We're looking at that buying pressure now. Now, as you can notice, no buying pressure came off that level, okay? This is good and this is bad. It's bad because it's not showing any buying pressure, which means that secondary run might not come, but it's also good because it's coming down to another buying level that I see. Now, this one will probably be the last buying level that I see on SOS, so it really has to start doing some pressure from here. So the level that I see, new buying pressure level, is right at 46 cents, right? So 46 cents is the buying pressure that I'll be looking for on SOS stock. Let me turn that level, uh, let me turn that level green. But we also do have a support level at around 48 that I want to give you guys. So around 48 cents, that's kind of a level that I'm watching for support. But I'm looking for that support to dip down a little bit and hit that buying level and send it higher. Now, if we do get that pressure, I'm looking for a first exit at about 58 cents. So from entry to exit, well, first exit, that would be about a 26% gain. I'll hold that and let the other rest run. But again, it all depends on what happens down here as we're getting that pullback. The secondary run is the most important part. The first run, that's nice and cool. But once it pulls down and confirms buying pressure, that secondary run should be bigger than the first one. But if it drops down and it doesn't confirm buying pressure, this might be the only move that happened in SOS stock, okay? So like I said, I'll keep updating you guys. If you guys want updates, just comment that down below. Any more stocks you guys want me to go over, comment that down below. These are the main levels I'm looking for. This can be really good. This can be huge. But the levels need to confirm before buying. Again, I never buy just because levels hit. I always make sure they confirm. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Thank you guys for being on the channel. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just dedicate your purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in that next one. Bye. All right, guys. Sponsored by Momo. Make sure you guys, you can get up to five free stocks when you deposit over $100. And once you deposit $2,000, you do get a free share of NEO once you hold that for 30 days, okay? So make sure you get your Momo account, second link in that description. Don't miss it.